Is your name Bart? Mm-hmm. What the you which, Does your father know you're working here? It was his idea. In that case, I'll have a whiskey sour. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Gee, sorry. It's a pretty standard stun, Homer. Dad? I kicked one of those stupid, itchy characters in the butt. Yeah, there's just no way to resist it, is there? Hmm, we didn't have a message when we left. Oh, very odd. Hello, Mutter. Hello, Fada. Here I am at Camp Granada. Marge, is Lisa at Camp Granada? Hmm, Cosby's first law of intergenerational perversity. No matter what you tell your child to do, it will always do the opposite. Huh? Don't you get it? You gotta use reverse psychology. Oh, that sounds too complicated. Okay, don't use reverse psychology. All right, I will. I want all five t-shirts to say best vacation ever. Attention, Marge Simpson. Your son has been arrested. <gasps> I'd be terribly embarrassed if I were that boy's mother. <laughs> Attention, Marge Simpson. We've also arrested your older, balder, fatter son. <laughs> Oh, he says, stop pining for your saxophone. I got you another instrument. What is jug? Lisa, never ever stop in the middle of a hoedown. <laughs> oh, honey, I didn't realize how much that horn meant to you. Don't worry. Daddy's going to get it back. I don't know how. But I'll figure out something. Thank you. You know, Lisa, music helps Daddy think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna write the best darn article. Oh, wait. Yeah. Ha! Take that, Uncle Sam! <laughs> You hurry it up with the cards, Lenny. I've got you clocked at two miles per hour. Come on, put that away. Those radar guns give you cancer. All the more reason to hurry up. Hey, what could be going a hundred miles per hour? Oh! Jeez, we hardly made a dent to that ten-foot hoagie. Oh, give it a good hope. Mm. You've been eating that thing for a week. I think the mayonnaise is starting to turn. Two more feet and I can fit it in the fridge. Homer, I found this behind the radiator. I really think you should throw it away. Suggestion noted. Marge, I'd like to be alone with the sandwich for a moment. Are you going to eat it? Yes. Remember, it is better to remain silent and be thoughtful than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. What does that mean? You better say something or they'll think you're stupid. Takes one to know one. Swish. Now I'm here to tell you about a remarkable new invention. Until now, this was the only way to get juice from an orange. You mean there's a better way? But that's all changed, thanks to the juice loosener. Let's meet the inventor, Dr. Nick Riviera. Hello, Troy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Dr. Nick. Small Man Productions presents Man Getting Hit by Football. <laughs> this contest is over. Give that man the ten thousand dollars. <laughs> this isn't America's funniest home videos. But the ball is growing. <laughs> it works at so many levels. <laughs> Roll it again. Hmm. Oh, pointy! You slimy. Uh oh, moving. Uh huh. Ah, oh, twenty dollars. I wanted a peanut. Twenty dollars can buy many peanuts. Explain how. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Woohoo! <laughs> get it, get it. Whoa! This is a thousand monkeys working at a thousand typewriters. Soon, they'll have written the greatest novel known to man. Let's see. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. You stupid monkey! <laughs> you... All right, Homer. You can have the dental plan on one condition. You must resign as head of the union. Woohoo! 
Smithers, I'm beginning to think that Homer Simpson was not the brilliant tactician I thought he was. I can't believe Auntie Gladys is really gone. Her legend will live forever. Yeah, the legend of the dog-faced woman. <laughs> legend of the dog-faced woman. Oh, that's good. Homer, that's very rude of you. What? And I just realized you insulted me. Now you will die. Uh, uh, hey, Nudnik, your shoe's untied. From here they appear to be tied, but I will go in for a closer look. Taxi! To the airport! On closer inspection, these are loafers. Simpson, Homer Simpson, he's the greatest guy in history. From the out of Springfield, he's about to hit a chestnut tree. How about last night? You might have noticed Daddy acting a little strange, and you probably don't understand why. Well, I understand why. You were wasting. I admit it. I didn't know when to say when. I'm sorry it happened, and I just hope you didn't lose a lot of respect for me. Dad, I have as much respect for you as I ever did or ever will. Oh. Good morning, honey. Mm -hmm. How's my special little guy? I'm having some side effects from the dope. It's not dope. It's something to help you concentrate. All I know is my testicles won't fit in my underwear. But get those oranges out of there. <laughs> Back in the lunch as you go. Ew, Mom. Oh, grow up. Yeah. 45 seconds till pencil's down. Lisa, what's the answer to number seven? Sorry, Ralph. That would defeat the purpose of testing as a means of student evaluation. My cat's name is Mittens. Three, two, one, and that's pencil's down. <sighs> now. Here's an oral extra credit question. What was Christopher Columbus actually looking for when he discovered America? Ooh, ooh! Anyone besides Lisa for a change? <coughs> Ralph, this better not be about your cat. <coughs> Bart, where'd you get that shirt? Oh, came out of the closet. Uh, huh. Oh, who am I kidding? I am slow. Oh, homie. If you feel so bad about yourself, there's always things you can do to feel better. Take another bath in malt liquor? There's that. Or you can take an adult education course. Oh, and how is education supposed to make me feel smarter? Besides, every time I learn something new, it pushes some old stuff out of my brain. Remember when I took that home winemaking course and I forgot how to drive? That's because you were drunk. And how? Now, before I give you the check, one more question. Uh, this place, Moe's, you left just before the accident, this is a business of some kind? Don't tell them you're at a bar. <gasps> but what else is open at night? It's a pornography store. I was buying pornography. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Mr. Hutz, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer just like you. Good for you, son. If there's one thing America needs, it's more lawyers. Can you imagine a world without lawyers? Oh. Him's here. I got him's here. Get him while they're holy. Fresh from God's brain to your mouth. <laughs> and now, please rise for our opening hymn. Uh, in the Garden of Eden by I, Ron Butterfly. Everyone we used to make out to this hymn? Wait a minute, this sounds like rock and or roll.
Help! Help! Hootman! Sounds like trouble a-brewing at the old well! Help me, please! I fell down the well! I'll get help, laddie! A little nip of courage. Hey, what's up? There's some poor kid fell down a well. Yes. My name is Timmy O'Toole. I just turned ten years old. Timmy, why are your parents? Uh, I have no family. I tried to enroll in school, but your principal Skinner turned me away because of my shabby clothes. <gasps> He's a liar. <laughs> the circumference of the well is 34 inches. So, unfortunately, not one member of our city's police force is slender enough to rescue the boy. By God, man, you're a bunch of marshmallows. Why don't you go, Chief? Well, I'm too... important. <laughs> Although the well is too dark to see the boy, Timmy has told us his foot is trapped under a rock. Thus, any attempt to pull him up would snap him like a twig. In desperation, the city is considering more unorthodox solutions. Grasping the child firmly in his talons, Socrates here will fly him to safety. Just watch. I don't think he's coming back. With his hook and his hunk of chocolate, I'll land your boy. And I'll clean him for free. Although we can't reach the boy, we can freeze him with liquid nitrogen so that future generations can rescue him. Dear Lord, before we peel the foil back from your bounty, we ask you to watch over little Timmy O'Toole, trapped in that well. <laughs> Bart, what's wrong with you? Yeah, that Timmy is a real hero. How do you mean, Dad? Well, he fell down a well and can't get out. How does that make him a hero? Well, it's more than you did. And finally... Most tavern, where do you leak meat to drink? Uh, yeah, hello, is Mike there? Last name, Rotch. Hold on, I'll check. My crotch! My crotch! Hey, has anybody seen my crotch lately? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, you little puke. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you, and I'm gonna carve my name on your back with an ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this great stuff, Lee's. Cool, personalized plates. Barclay, Barry, Bert, Bort. Oh, come on, Bort? Mommy, Bobby, buy me a license plate. No, come along, Bort. Are you talking to me? No, my son is also named Bort. Adley, do Greetings, friend. Bang. I told you to unplug the phone. But it could be my mother. Howdy, friend. Shoot! That is it, Ned. If you don't unplug that phone right now, you're sleeping on the lawn. Will you do shut up? People are trying to sleep. Go bell. Bart! Why are you doing that? Oh. Well, this time you must be punished. Well, you could punish me, but... No tricks, boy. I said I'm going to punish you, and come hell or high water, I... Wait a minute. <gasps> Ice cream truck! Me, me, I was here first. Hmm. Now, what were we talking about, boy? Uh, we were talking about the time you beat jury duty. Oh, yeah. The trick is to say you're prejudiced against all races. Why, <gasps> you little...
Mm. I don't understand it. James Coco went mad in 15 minutes. What do you mean you lost him? He might have fallen into one of these machines. Oh my god, that's his lucky red hat. He's a box. My boy's a box. Damn you. A box. To alcohol. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those phonies sucking up to Bush. <laughs> I guess you might say he's barking up the wrong bush. <laughs> there it is, Homer. The cleverest thing you'll ever say and nobody heard it. Oh! Well, at least I liked it. Didn't I? Oh, you don't want to know what I really think. Now look sad and say do. Do. Dad may have gained a little weight, but he's not some kind of food crazed maniac. Oh, oh, oh the raspberry. <laughs> no! Hello, Smithers. You're quite good at turning me on. Um, you probably should ignore that. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Here's my wallet. <laughs> Hi, diddly ho, shooks in boots. <gasps> Flanders? That suit's a little revealing, isn't it? Well, it allows for maximum mobility. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Quit it! Must wash eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, help! Oh, I've never seen anything like... Oh, my eyes have been soiled! Come on, Maud. The human wang is a beautiful thing. Homer, for God's sakes, put your poncho on. Okay, okay. Narc. Hey, hot stuff. I've got a competition tomorrow. I could use a good luck snuggle. I'd rather talk about our feelings. I feel that illegal performance-enhancing drugs are too common these days. Rebuttal? <laughs> Did you let's do it. Oh, uh, uh, listen, my bulky flower. I, I have an early date. I wasn't asking. <laughs> Oh, Mindy, you came and you gave without flaking, but I sent you Ben Gay, oh, Andy, you kissed me and stopped me from something. Oh. Look at this country. You are gay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. What? <laughs> what? Hurry, let's climb down. Okay, but don't let our hands touch. It's gay. What's gay mean? Um, it means you used to be afraid, but now you're not. I'm gay, Daddy! I'm gay! Mrs. Simpson made me gay! <gasps> I believe he's saying he's okay. <laughs> Mike? Yes, homie? Do, 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 do. For a dollar? Well, sir, I gave him three quarters by mistake. Took me the whole afternoon to track him down. Todd, would you like some mixed vegetables? Hell no. <gasps> what did you say? I said I don't want any damn vegetables. All right, that's it, young man. No Bible stories for you tonight. Oh. <laughs>